Some 18 years ago, I left Dayton, Ohio with two very bad knees. in a dream to become a Major League Baseball player. <laughs> I thank God that the dream came true. <laughs> 23 years ago, former Ohio Bobcat Michael Jack Schmidt announced the end of his Major League Baseball playing career. Mike Schmidt was a player for the ages. The career produced 12 All-Star appearances, 10 gold gloves, three National League MVP awards, a World Series championship, and a first ballot Hall of Fame induction. You know, uh, Mike Schmidt is arguably the greatest third baseman in the history of the game. On May 17th, 2012, 17 years removed from his enshrinement in the Cooperstown, Schmidt's accomplishments at Ohio were recognized as he was finally inducted into the Mac Hall of Fame. He was a, a name that would have come up even in the previous time, but was unable to attend. Then the, then the conference kind of did away with the uh, Hall of Fame for a number of years. And now they brought it back. So when they brought it back, we renominated him. So you know now he's going in. Now you don't have to be there in person to to receive it because he does have some other engagements too. Even now, I don't know the history of uh, the Mac Hall of Fame uh, related to baseball. Uh, it's a pretty tough one, I would say. Uh, I waited 40 years. <laughs> but all joking aside. The former Ohio shortstop and Philadelphia Philly third baseman considers it a privilege to be officially recognized as one of the best athletes in MAC history. Having been, been recognized by the Mid American Conference uh, as, as a Hall of Famer now is a nice honor. It was a great, great period in my life. Uh, you know, I, I feel I asserted myself individually and had some great teammates uh, back in those days. And in, in my mind, you think of, of baseball, and that is one of the first names that that comes to mind, and and so he is is taking his rightful place uh, among a, a a group of other great coaches and student athletes. Under the tutelage of legendary head coach Bob Wren, Schmidt helped lead the Cats to the 1970 College World Series, where they took home fourth place. He garnered All-American honors in '70 70 and '71, and was named First Team All-Mac three times. Ohio head coach Joe Carbone was a captain and starting second baseman on the 1970 team. Mike was a notch above all the rest of us, and all of the guys on that team I played on were pretty damn good. You know, we got to the College World Series, and I think 13 guys got drafted. But Mike was a notch above all the rest of us, you know. So you could say you could see even then he was something special. Schmidt was selected with a 30th overall pick of the 1971 MLB draft by the Phillies, and the rest is history but the Dayton native says he's eternally grateful for being able to use Ohio University as a stepping stone to his legendary pro baseball career. I arrived at Ohio University as a walk-on. I, I never had any scholarship money. Um, I tried out for the freshman baseball team and ended up uh, as an All-American. And uh, I, owe, I owe it all to Coach Wren, my teammates, the school, uh, and the good Lord, I guess. Uh, I, I, I can't put it any other way, and having uh, the, the Mid-American Conference uh, recognize that is a great honor.